I keep talking about this because I don't want you to miss out. This has something to do with a great package if you uh, love to travel. In fact, even if you don't love to travel, I'm sure you will. Exceptionally priced. $16.99, you get dual destination. You get to go to the Philippines and Malaysia. And $16.99 only already includes your airfare to both countries and accommodation. So from L.A. to the countries and then back to L.A. only for $16.99. And this promo... Uh, this promo rate will only be available till November, so call them now to, uh, so that you don't miss out. Thank you for joining us today on Kababai and Today, where we are featuring Brilliant Strings once again. I spoke to Go earlier, the man behind Brilliant Strings, and also Kababai and Pride, Mondavid, where we talked about um, coming together, sharing music, and also filling our studio with music. Thank you guys for coming. Thanks for having us. New uh, musicians on the show to introduce to you. We have TJ and David. TJ plays. What kind of uh, instrument is this? This is a percussion instrument called the tabla. This is the main drum of North Indian classical music. Ah. But it's a finger style <laughs> instrument, so primarily you would be playing with my fingertips on the surface of the drum. Right. And this is what I use to accompany David on his instrument. Yes, because David also plays a different uh, Indian instrument called. This is called the sarod, uh -huh. and this is, you could say it's a classical guitar uh, from India. It's used for Indian classical music, for uh, raga music, and uh, it's a very wonderful and unique instrument. It has a metal fingerboard instead mm -hmm. of a wooden fingerboard uh -huh. so that you uh, slide between the notes. And this is why I love Brilliant Strings. It, 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 it introduces us to different kinds of music as well. Why Indian um, instruments? Well, for me, uh, I was very fortunate uh, quite a long time ago now to be introduced to one of, one of the great musicians of the 20th century. His name was Ali Akbar Khan, mm -hmm. uh, acknowledged all over the world by musicians of every type as one of the you know, very greatest musicians of the last century. And he was on a mission. He moved to the United States to teach his music because he wanted actually to spread that music beyond India. And uh, he set up a, a college. He started to teach in the Bay Area, uh, actually a long time in the mid-60s. And I became exposed, basically I was exposed to his music and to his genius and uh, that was the sound. He played this instrument, the sarod. Uh -huh. And that's what attracted me. It's, it's, um, uh, the Indianness was not the, the primary concern. It was but the, the fact, instrument. The instrument and this uh, incredibly teacher. brilliant musician and teacher. Right. What about you, TJ? I have a very similar story to that. I've studied drums and percussion my whole life since the age of four. Okay. And when I started reading about this drum, I always imagined I would have an opportunity to study it. And I okay. happened to be in a music store in Southern Oregon uh -huh. where there's no sales tax. Right. And I see my very first pair of tabla in real life. I see them sitting up on the shelf and I ask to look at them and I ask how much do these cost? And they say they're $200. And I had exactly $200 in my pocket. So, so it was, was destiny. Destiny. Right. I, I really think it was serendipity. I ask musicians this a lot. And they, I ask them, do you choose the instrument? Is this the instrument choose you? And more often, I would hear the instrument chooses me. Is it the same? With yeah, that. you? Because I, I, I would think so. I mean, in, in my own case, uh, when I first became just interested, uh, a very wonderful and insightful friend, I guess, decided that it must be the right thing. And she went and found an instrument that was unplayed, that no one had played, and no one even knew what it sounded like. I mean, it was literally like hanging on a nail on someone's right. wall. Okay. And she looked at it and, and saw it and said, that's an amazing instrument. And she bought it, and she gave it to me. Oh, wow. And this is the and instrument. That's, how. that's still my instrument, and it's everywhere I take it. The other people who play this music acknowledge it as one of the best sounding instruments they've ever and heard. And I guess that because of that experience, there's more life to the music. It's not just an instrument because there is a story behind it. Absolutely. We will hear that at Brilliant Strings, Art Share. We weren't able to talk about it, but maybe I'll talk about it in the next block. Mm -hmm. But for now, here's the music of TJ and David. Mm -hmm. 